Men in the Arena Army, I salute you. Welcome to team meeting number two in the climb, simply called Slow Fade. You know, uh, when I'm navigating in the mountains, I used to carry a compass. Now I have on my phone an app called OnX, and it directs me exactly to where I'm going. You know, with a compass, if you're just one degree off over time, you're lost, and if you've been lost, you don't want to be there. Today's study reminds me of the song by Casting Crowns, Slow Fade. The lyrics go something like this. It, it, it's a slow fade when you give your life away. It's a slow walk fade when black and white have turned to gray. And how many leaders do we have to see fall to understand this concept? You know, Satan's a patient predator. He'll wait for decades to take you out. He'll let you drift off course for decades before you fall and those around you fall. In 2 Samuel chapter 11, verses 1 through 2, we read about David. It says, when the kings went off to war, David stayed on the roof, took a nap. He looked over and saw Bathsheba, who was the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Uriah the Hittite was one of his 30 mighty men. The 30 mighty men had built their homes around the palace to protect the king. He ends up sleeping with Bathsheba, getting her pregnant, murdering Uriah the Hittite. And it was a slow fade from warrior to murderer and adulterer. Let Uriah, his story, and the story of King David be a witness for us today that it's so easy to go off course. You know, guys, it is a slow fade. Stay on course. Keep your compass pointed in the right direction. Today's a study that you're going to really love. I think it's going to really, really help you guys because remember this, when a man gets it, everyone wins. But when he doesn't, everyone loses. God bless you guys.